Hi guys, welcome to Beauty by Call. Thank you so much for clicking on my first video. And today, for the first video, I just thought I'd do a little get to know me video. And for each step of my makeup routine, I'm going to tell you a fact about me. So just jumping right into it, I'm just going to start off with primer. This is the Ordinary High, Sil high Adherence Silicone Primer. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that on my fingers. And because of what kind of video this is, you know, get to know me video, I'm not really going to be focusing too much on the steps of the makeup routine. I'll tell you what products I'm using, but I want to more just focus on the actual facts I'm telling you. Sorry for my skin as well. I know it's not a good first impression for a first video, but I mean... <laughs> I'm just as horrified as you are. And we're gonna cover it up with step one, foundation. This is the ordinary high coverage foundation. I'm just gonna squirt some of that on the back of my hand. Taking my damp Morphe sponge, I'm just going to get right in. I've been doing makeup uh, for about three years, I think, coming up to Halloween. This Halloween, it'll be three years, I started doing, let me think, I started doing it a couple of years ago, but I started off just doing face paint first. I remember I uploaded some pictures a couple of Halloweens ago of me in Pennywise makeup from the remix, and then a few days after that, I uploaded some face paint looks I'd done copying some of my Halloween decorations. So that's how I started off getting into makeup. And from there, it just kind of developed into trying out all kinds of makeup. Because I'd always loved the idea of special effects makeup and, you know, doing movie stuff and creating monsters and horror characters and everything like that. But I'd never really thought about doing actual makeup like this. It was actually one of my friends... Casey, who suggested I should try it in a way. She didn't, I'm just going to get a little bit more for my neck. She didn't directly say that I should try makeup, but we were talking about, <laughs> we were talking about me doing a movie media makeup one day, and I made a reference to trying out proper makeup, and she said that I should, because she thinks I'd really suit makeup. And from there, it just got me thinking, you know, should I? Would I, tr would I suit it? Would I be good at it? And this is where we are today. Coming up to that Halloween, I bought my first makeup set, I guess you could call it. I bought a foundation, a concealer, a setting powder, and a blush. And that was it. That was what I thought made up all of makeup. No eyeshadow, no setting spray, no primer even. <laughs> I mean, I know I was a beginner, but I could have at least took some time to do my research. So that's how I started off makeup. I started off doing face paint. Then gradually I moved into like beginner products. Moving into, oh my God. Moving into concealer. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Super Size Concealer. I thought I'd just share like my makeup inspirations. For this, for this step, while I put this on, I'm just going to dot it under my eyes. This is a super high coverage concealer. You really, really do not need a lot. Anyway, my makeup inspirations are mainly James Charles and Jeffree Star. I mean, hello, Jeffree Star approved t-shirt and I'm going to be using James Charles palette later. I just want to say, since I know there's a lot going on, especially with Jeffree Star at the moment, I know it may not be exactly safe to be joining the beauty community right now, especially with everything going on. And, you know, it's like the whole beauty community is being cancelled slowly, guru by guru. But I really don't want anything like that on this channel. This is a safe place for everybody that loves makeup, and just wants to have fun and take the beauty community back to what it used to be. 
you know, just a fun place where we could all share our makeup, love and skill and be creative and do challenges and stuff like that. Saying that, yes, Jeffree Star and James Charles are two of my biggest makeup inspirations. James was the was actually the first male makeup artist I ever watched and through him I found a Jeffree Star video and through Jeffree I found a Shane Dawson video and then it just turned into me liking everybody that I like now. I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Star Con Magic Star setting powder. Why can I not speak? In shade fur. For anyone that doesn't have this, I would highly, highly recommend you get it. Not only is it incredible, but it seriously smells like something you get at the fur. I'm just going to pour some into the lid, just to set everywhere that I put that concealer. That should be enough. Using the sponge again. And for this fact, maybe something a bit unexpected. I love masks. Yeah, like... Halloween masks and horror masks and fancy dress stuff and everything like that. I just absolutely love it. It probably comes from my love of horror. You know, all the characters in there, they're like monsters or they wear masks and they wear costumes. And I do too. Seriously, let me show you some of them. I think this is from Borderlands, I believe, and obviously we know Jason Voorhees. I actually painted this myself. It did not look like this when I got it. I created the crack in it, I did all the painting, but I'll save stuff like this for my spooky channel, Paranormal Overload. I'll link that down below because I'll go over some more horror, spooky things that I like, like that on that channel. Be sure to check it out and subscribe to it. Now that we are set in place, I'm going to take a second powder, this is the MAC Studio Fix. And with the little sponge that comes underneath it, I'm going to set the rest of my face. Contour. I'm just going to use the Benefit Cosmetics Get the Pretty Started Face Palette. It comes with a bronzer, blush and a highlighter, but I'm just going to be using the bronzer today. And I'm going to be using the You Spicy, You Spicy, number 30 powder brush. And I'm just going to get a decent amount onto this. The fact for this is I am also an art student. I've been doing art at college for about three years. Uh, I picked art because I thought it'd be the most fun subject. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Honestly, I didn't want to do college, but I also wasn't ready for work. So I used college really as a way to put a bit of distance between having to get a job and trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life because that was at a time when I still had no idea what I wanted to do where I wanted to end up so I decided to just join college while I figured everything out uh, by now I really wish I'd have just got a job because let me tell you something College is not fun. At all. I mean, I'm not saying don't go to college. Obviously, if you do, good for you. Get that education. Get to where you want to be in life. That is amazing. But I'm just one of those people. It was not for me. At all. It's currently closed. College, we are in... 
our holidays and obviously because of everything going on in the world they had to close it down they did have us working from home which just made it even harder to deal with I feel like this bronzer is not showing up on camera I'm packing so much of it on maybe my lights just too bright when I get close you can see it I bit think. swear I'm sure you'll let me know if you can't I'm just going to take this smaller angled brush into that bronzer just to do my nose. See, I just caught my forehead in this light. It's really not showing up. I promise there is product there. You saw me put it on. Yeah, anyway, college just was just isn't for me i've been there for about three years and like i said i used it as sort of a way to put off having to make up my mind on the spot about what i wanted to do with my life but by now i've figured it out i want to publish some books i love writing i talk about that in my facts video on my paranormal channel once again linked below subscribe and watch that video you know what I'm going to do for this bronzer, since it doesn't seem to be showing up, I'm just going to try a trick that I saw Nikki Tutorials do, where she bronzed her entire nose. And then getting more powder. Getting your sponge. Bacon the size of your nose. Why do baking lines always look so uneven? I mean, it looks horrific now, and it'll probably look horrific when it's finished. Okay, that looks better. Anyway, like I've said, long story short, college, not for me. I have figured out what I want to do with my life now. I would love to be published. I love writing. And I love doing makeup, so I want to turn this into a career somehow. Maybe even one day I'll be monetized on YouTube. Who knows? For blush, I'm actually going to be using the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. And this shade... Bitch is a brilliant peachy blush shade. It goes a long way, so I probably don't need that much. And I'm just going to apply that right here, blending it into that contour. That's showing up a lot more than the contour did. Good. Blush was actually one of the first products I ever used. Like I said, when I started makeup, I got foundation, setting powder, concealer, and blush. And that was it. And I thought, you know, that was makeup. Something that I do if I think it's a little too harsh is I take another powder brush without any product on it. And just in little circles, I buff it even more into that contour. Just so it softens it and it looks even prettier. My fact for this step in on my list was actually about studying art at college, which I've realised I did in my last step for contour, so that's why I haven't gone over anything in this one. I'm sorry. This is a highlighter from Primark. This is the shade Frosted. For this fact, well, let me just tell you, I love bags. Handbags, backpacks, side bags, all of them. Seriously. Oh yeah, I love Primark highlighters. I have quite a few bags, and I want more. Oh, that is a nice glow. I do plan on doing like a haul video, 
when I have more bags because like I said at the minute I think I have about four and you just couldn't really do a haul a nice video haul. with four bags I don't think it just wouldn't last very long it'd be quite boring but yeah you should see my phone I screenshot things that I plan on buying and there's so many bags in my screenshots Speaking of Primark, since this highlight was from Primark, one of my favourite bags is also from Primark. They just have amazing, amazing prices. Like, you can go in there with £5. Oh, yes. Look at that. You could go in there with about £5 and come out with what looks like 20 pounds worth of stuff we went in there once and my mum got like a perfume and about two pairs of leggings which are all brilliant quality as well like you really wouldn't think that they were the quality of two or three pound per item but long story short primark cheap but brilliant i'm just going to wipe off this powder as well before we move on and see how this Schnoz looks. Okay, okay, I actually love that. I love the line of highlight down it. I love this. Next step, brows. This is where we're going to jump into the James Charles palette. Wow. I'm going to be using the shade T. I think this is T. No, sorry, we're going to be using the shade Benny, which is this very dark brown shade here and we're going to be using that for my eyebrows well i'm going to be using that for my eyebrows i am a huge believer in the paranormal as i've mentioned i do have a second channel which is mainly themed around the paranormal and my interests in it and me testing out you know spooky theories spooky rituals ghost rituals games everything like that so if you're interested in that i will link my second channel down below whoa i swear this does not look this dark in person maybe i should have used the shade t it's fine i'll be able to make it look good i think i hope Okay, that's actually a pretty good brow. Anyway, yeah. I've believed in the paranormal for as long as I can remember. Ever since being a kid, I always just was able to sense, you know, spirits and like other energies and things like that. And, and just as the years have gone on, I've had more and more encounters and experiences. But these are all things for paranormal overload my spooky channel so if you want to hear more of it be sure to go over there and subscribe if she just needs a little thickening up around the top Okay, they look good enough to me. Brows should be sisters, not twins, remember? I'm going to prime my eyes as well and carve out my eyebrows with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm going to use my concealer brush, which is by Do Color. I got a pack of 10 brushes from them a while ago. They're really good from Amazon. And I'm just going to use this to carve out my brows and prime my eyes as well. I'm 
and I feel like I've put too much on, I just pat it out with my finger because I feel like that's a, an easier way, you know, to spread it out if you think you've put too much on because then you're not just putting more product on with the brush. Now I'm just going to do the other eye. Carving out your brows can really be the difference between a good brow and a bad brow. Okay, we are carved and primed. <laughs> you know, it honestly horrifies me that some people do eyeshadow without doing eyeshadow primer. Like, ugh. I don't know if it's just me because I have very problematic skin. My eyelids get nasty, just like the rest of my face. <laughs> but I just much prefer to do primer first. Going into my eyeshadow. I'm going to keep it simple. For today, I don't feel like I need to do, you know, anything too crazy. I'm just gathering my eyeshadow brushes. So for fact eight, I have all my brushes. And this one is about pets. Throughout my life, I have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pets. Currently, we have a family dog called Pebbles. She's a Border Collie cross Jack Russell. I honestly still don't know how that worked, like, how could a dog as small as a Jack Russell jump on a dog as big as a Border Collie, or the other way around. Either way, that's what she is. And I also have a bunny, a bunny rabbit, named Alex. So for this look, I've started off with shade punch me from the james charles palette and i'm just running that all the way through the crease and just flicking it out a little bit to create a nice winged shape do they call it a wing when you do this shape with eyeshadow because that's what it looks like to me it just looks like winged liner done with eyeshadow my other pets include two garden snails which I named both of them Gary from Spongebob. Uh, they all died, sadly. One of them, I think, just died of age or being in the wrong environment. I'm not sure. But literally, I reached into the, the tank I had him in one day to pick him up. And he just slipped out of his shell. And it was the most ugh, thing I've ever seen, honestly. It like a green slime came out with him and I were honestly just a bit in shock like I didn't know what had actually happened at first so that was how that one died the one after that I can't remember I think it just it's like its body just went dry after that I had fish which I had two goldfish Darwin and Nemo and then a Pleck which I named Plecton because I'm funny. They also died. It was like, I don't know if one of them got a disease or something, but it was like one of their skins started flaking. We looked at one of them one day, and there were pieces of this fish, like, flaking off it while it was swimming around, and that just made the water unhealthy. I think it infected the other fish, it was like it was decomposing while it was still alive. So eventually, they died as well. That was shade T from the James Charles palette, and I just blended that through my crease into the shade Punch Me, which we did before. Like I said, I'm just keeping this really simple. I don't feel the need to do anything too extreme. So with a little packer brush, I'm just going to... Use the shade So Good from James's palette, which is like this nice golden highlightery shade. And I'm just going to brush that all over my eyelid. As the shade says, So Good.
and I'm just going to go in with a smaller brush and just run that shade punch me under my eyes just to connect everything. My bunny, Alex, is currently less than a year old. I actually got her for Christmas last year. We got her early and, ow, the brush just went in my eye. We got her early and I started to be a pet owner a few weeks before Christmas because obviously she's a living, a living thing. We couldn't really just wrap her up and put her under the tree. Um, quick side note, I'm using the shade Ring Light just to pop on the inner corner, just to bring it all together. So I got Alex a few weeks before Christmas. And I got Alex before Christmas and she's currently less than a year old. She'll be a year old this Halloween. She's a spooky girl. Did you know that bunnies actually can't eat too many vegetables until they're a year old? I thought they could just start eating vegetables like from the get-go, to be honest. Anyway, Alex, I love her, long story short. I'm just using some white eyeliner just to finish my eye off. I really should have used a sponge to pull my eye down then, but just in the moment, I just did it. I'm going to do lips next. I really, really want lip filler. I've just always really liked the plump lipped look. Oh yeah, I'm using Jeffree Star lip liner in the shade Mannequin, and I'll be using the matching liquid lipstick. I really, really, really want lip fillers. I just love those Kylie lips, those plump Kylie lips. And I want them, long story short. I actually used to just use lip liner and I'd just draw around the top of my lip. I'd use the closest lip liner I could find to my natural skin colour and I'd just overdraw my lips so they looked fuller. And then I learned, you know, different tips and tricks to make your lips look bigger and I follow those more now, now that I know them. And I'm able to create the fake plumped lips, fake lip filler, but I'll probably get it if I can. That's just a little trick that I like to do. I draw into my lips instead of filling them in with the liner so that when I put the lipstick on, they blend together more seamlessly. I do that especially if I'm mixing colors, so using a darker liner than I am lipstick. It just makes them blend together a lot easier and a lot nicer. Yeah, I'm smelling this because Jeffrey's lipsticks usually have like a root beery smell. Anyway, shade mannequin, like I said. Filling my lips in. Lips done for now. Final step. I'm going to just be setting my face with some of the MAC Fix Plus is that I actually don't really wear makeup in my daily life that much. Just a little speed drying there. <clears throat> I'm going to do my mascara now. I do mascara after setting spray 
because I don't know if I'm just using bad mascaras, but this has literally happened with every single brand I've used. But if I do mascara before setting spray, so the mascara always runs down onto under my eye. It always would end up dotted under my eye. So now I've learned to just do it after setting spray. This is the a new lash transforming mascara sold by Avon. And that is both eyes done. I would do lashes, but I literally cannot do them to save my life. Which is a shame, because I do really want to be able to do lashes. I, I'm going to be practicing, though, because I feel like that's what's missing from my look. You know, just a good pair of lashes to, to bring everything to... <coughs> oh my god. To bring everything together. And one last step, I'm going to be using the... Shane and Jeffrey gloss. I love the smell of this. And just giving my lips a nice coat of that. You know, I was saying I love the full lip look. This gives you the full lip look. Anyway, that's all the facts I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed my first ever video and I hope you feel like you've got to know me a little better. I'd really love it if you subscribed. Subscribe to my second channel linked below so you can get to know me a little bit better over there. And stick around, subscribe, like, comment because I have a lot more fun things planned and I want to share it with everyone. Like I said in the beginning, this is a drama-free space for everyone that just loves makeup and wants to have fun with it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.